this truck bed slide and drawers project nearly broke me. Not my wallet, just my will to continue. That's no good. Sheesh. I thought it would take a day, day and a half. It took five days. Cheater! I had tools fail. And it's coming off. And I can't go buy that anywhere. I failed. Look at that. Freaking angle. How stupid. My mic failed. Thanks, Patrick. Uh, I failed. <laughs> Holy crap, this is the scariest thing I've ever routed. Chickens tried to sabotage me. And I just stepped in chicken poop. But in the end, it was totally freaking worth it. Welcome back, Hex Maniacs. I've got a problem. So not too long ago, I did a video showing all the EDC truck gear that I keep in the back of my truck. I use an old Nanook case from an old tool that I had and a Grizzly cooler. It actually works pretty well, other than the fact that it doesn't work at all. And that's because every time I need something out of here, it's a hassle to get up in here and get it. Just a lot of times I don't get the stuff that I need. I just make do without it because I don't feel like I'm doing this whole setup back here. So I'm gonna build a set of drawers with a slide for the back of my bug out truck slash adventure wagon slash grocery getter. I like to start out with a really thorough and detailed plan, then totally scrap it and wing it. Let's go get some wood. Other than eggs every day, one of the side benefits of free range chickens is they fertilize your yard. The downside is they fertilize your driveway. So every driveway project starts with a thorough wash. There's lots of systems already available online and I've looked at them and I've used some of them in the past and they're all really good except for, well, the ones I've tried are good anyway, except for the fact that they take up too much space and I feel like there's a lot of wasted space. Another reason why I chose to do this myself is because most of the products that are available right now go from bedside to bedside and I already have these molly panels installed and I don't want to lose that space. Barely into the project and I've hit my first problem. I had to break out the table saw. I was going to try to do all this with the track saw, but this is like the cut strip right here and that's what you have to line up on your marks and it's coming off and I can't go buy that anywhere. So I have to make do. I've been trying to clean up the garage and I just rearranged everything because I was like, I'm not really gonna build anything for a while. And then I'm building this. Behold, the pocket hole jig. I'll be honest with you, I was about ready to give up when this adorable little girl came up and said she'd help me if I'd make her a peanut butter and honey sandwich. How could I refuse? Look at her. I just realized that I did something unbelievably stupid. Look at that. Freaking angle. How stupid. I was getting flustered because the track saw was messing up. And you can see right there. There it is. What is that? Squeezy bottle. Squeezy bottle. <laughs> Number two square drive. Greatest drive ever. I don't care what you say. Jeez, noise. I just want to make sure that any drawer won't hit on the tailgate as it opens. No good. By the time I get the slide on here, it's gonna be a couple inches taller. And the whole point of this is to keep all my stuff on my molly panels. So, hmm, we'll see. 24 hours later. Well, I have the base and the bed of the truck. I wanna go ahead and figure out how to attach it 
And for that, I'm gonna be using these plus nuts. Now, the way these work is this will act as a washer on one side of the bed, and this will work as a nut on the back side of the bed. And I'm gonna put in this M8 bolt to hold everything together. Behold, the most secure lid ever. It's almost like they were afraid you'd get it open. Sheesh. To make sure it had a durable surface, I just bought some of this DIY truck bed liner at a local auto parts store. While I wait for that to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the drawers out of this half inch plywood. But not before I rinse some more chicken poop off the driveway. I'm on my way back from Ace Hardware where I went to go get some carpet tape and it's starting to drizzle. And everything is outside, uncovered. Amazing. As I got closer to home, it quit. Hopefully it'll stay that way. It is the project that does not want to be. And I just stepped in chicken poop. <laughs> now, if you wanted to make this properly, you would dado the sides for the bottom to slip in and you'd rabbit the front and back. But as a wise woman once said, ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm just gonna be gluing it, shooting it, and screwing it. ordered some 500 pound slides off the old interweb to hold the drawers and the top slide out. Okay, here we go. It's very scary, very scary. Thumb, girlfriend. Not... Lord of mercy. I'm gonna put a hole in me. Okay, hold on. Right via. Oh, I didn't even take pull trigger yet. <laughs> okay. Don't pull it till I tell you. Pull. Pull. What are you doing? Tic tac toe. Tic tac toe? Go for it. I'll go first. No, I didn't. Okay. okay. gonna be a draw. No. Nope. I no! won. I won. Cheater! I don't know where the slide is. <laughs> I don't know what I've done with it. To help keep the plywood from bowing side to side in the middle, I'm going to be using these three quarter inch aluminum square tubing to give support. Originally I was gonna screw the aluminum from the top through the wood into the aluminum, but as you see, it's, it's so thin that I didn't think the screw would hold very well. Not to mention it would be a nightmare lining these up down the bottom while screwing to them from the top. So what I think I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna take this bit right here, oh, cover my face up, and I'm gonna drill a large hole in one side and a small hole in the other. And then I'm gonna run these Spax screws because they have a really aggressive uh, thread on them. Thirty-six holes, box of thirty-five screws. There was one extra screw in it. <laughs> it worked out perfect. Okay, now I can be honest with you and tell you the real reason why I did it. This method was because all the screws that I bought at the hardware store yesterday, I bought them all too short. <laughs> and I was like, I don't feel like going to the store again. 
So I decided to do it this way instead of drilling through the plywood and the metal. And actually I think this is the better method. And I think it's super clean looking. So sometimes a problem can actually create a better solution. I decided to lay carpet in the inside of the drawers and the top of the slide, not only to make it nice and soft and comfy, but it also makes it quieter and it saved me some money on the bed liner. I had a slight miscalculation down here. Okay, beautiful. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. So you're gonna turn around. You're... Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. All right, why was it not going, Madison? All right, slide it back now. Why is it holding up? I won't go. <sighs> Hitting on the bottom. The brace is holding it. To be honest with you, this is the first woodworking project I've worked on since my dad passed. And the way this would have worked a year ago is, I would have said, hey, I've got an idea for a bed slide and drawers. Can you figure this out for me? He would have drawn it up to scale. And the next day had everything ready along with a cut list and made sure that everything fit precisely and smoothly. Holy crap, this is the scariest thing I've ever routed. It, a router does not like truck bed lining. Number one, the plate doesn't want to slide across it. Holy smoke, that is freaking nasty. After numerous hiccups, here it is, finally. Just like my original intent, I have easy access to all the emergency supplies or roadside supplies, bug out gear, whatever. I can get to it super easy, and I didn't lose that much space height-wise. And I have easy access. So now I have easy access to everything that I carry in my truck every day. But what should you carry every day? Well, check this video out right here and I'll show you the stuff that I carry in my truck to make sure that I can bug out when I need to, get home in an emergency if I need to, or help somebody else.